Makitingala po kayo sa altar at doon sa kisame sa ibabaw ng retablo makakakita kayo ng painting nandoon si Jesus Peter, James at John at nandoon si Elijah nandoon si Moses yung painting po sa altar natin ay yung gospel para sa linggong ito ang tawag po sa pangyayari ay transfiguration, pagbabagong anyo ng Panginoon. Mayroong tatlong audience, Pedro, Santiago, at Juan. At kaya nandito sa katedral, ang painting na yon ay sapagkat tayo ay Cathedral of St. John. Mayroon silang nakita at mayroong tatlong reaksyon na nakita sa kanila. Una, they were stunned. Second, they were silenced. And third, they could not understand what it was, so Peter said, let us stay. Let us look at the three words. Stunned, silence, stay. Nakita nila ang second luminous mystery, nakita nila ang fourth luminous mystery, at nagulat sila. Maganda kasi. Pero natahimik sila kasi hindi pa sila nakakita ng ganon. Kaya sabi nila, let us stay here. Hindi lang yun transfiguration. Natatandaan ko po, seminarista pa lang ako, Una kong nakita si Pope John Paul II sa Manila Cathedral bago magmisa. Pareho din ang aking reaction. I was stunned to see the Pope face to face. I could not speak. I was silenced. And I wanted to stay for as long as I could because the Pope was in front of me. Naging Incident din po iyan noong inimbita ako pumunta sa private chapel ni Pope John Paul II. Pagbukas po ng chapel, nakita ko yung isang lalaking nakaputi nagdadasal sa harap ng Blessed Sacrament at parang may malakas na hanging ubihip sa mukha ko. I was stunned I was silenced and I wanted to stay. Hindi lang yan. Halimbawa, makakita tayo ng isang batang maliit magpe-first communion. Makakita ka ng isang batang PWD na kukumpilan. O makakita ka ng isang mag-asawa, lalaki at babae, parehong bulag pero magpapakasal. Stunning, silencing, staying. Kapag nakakita tayo ng magandang pagkakataon, we are stunned, we are awed in silence, and we want to stay. Yung magagandang pagkakataon lang ba ang nakakagulat sa atin? Hindi po. Natatandaan ko po, 1995, sa kwarto ng ospital, nakita ko biglang bumuntong hininga ang tatay kong nakahiga sa kama at yun na pala ang kanyang huli. I was stunned. I was silent. And I wanted to stay because I wanted my father to stay. Hindi lang maganda, pati malulungkot na bagay, pwede rin maging Transfiguration. Natatandaan ko rin nung nagsisimula ang pagbabaril sa mga drug addict, napunta ako doon sa Mayumbo sa likod ng Villa Flor Hospital. Naroon ang isang batang babae. Pangalan niya, Dani Kamei. Tinamaan ng bala kasi yung lolo niya ay gustong barilin dahil drug pusher. 
Pero sa halip na lolo niya ang tinamaan ng bala, si Danica na naliligo dahil papasok sa prep ng araw na yon ang tinamaan ng bala at patay. Pagkakita ko kay Danica, five years old, may butas ng bala, stunned, silenced, I wanted to stay. Naulit pa rin yun sa Sitio China, sa Bunuan. Pero ang bala ay nasa kanyang noo. Pagtingin ko sa loob ng kabaong, butas ang kanyang noo, stunned, silenced, stay. Siguro ito rin ang naramdaman ng Samaritano nung makita niya yung dugo ang tao sa tabi ng daan. Stunned, silenced, and he stayed with the man and brought the man to an inn for safety. Ang ibig kong sabihin, mga minamahal kong kapatid, ang pagbabagong anyo na may aral ay hindi palaging maganda. Ang pagbabagong anyo na may aral ay hindi palaging kabighabighani. It is not always attractive. It is not always luminous. It is not always glorious. It is not always shiny. It is not always brilliant. Minsan, ang transfiguration ay hindi tungkol sa pinakamadak, pinakadakilang kaya nating abutin. Minsan, ang transfiguration ay doon sa pinakamababa na gusto nating puntahan na hindi naman para sa atin. When we kill and we see victims of killing, when we see death and we see death as, empower, as removing our power, when we see crime, when we see sin, we are stunned, we are silenced, and we want to stay and do something to make it better, to prevent it from being repeated. Ngayong ikalawang linggo ng Kwaresma, ang panalangin para sa atin na alay sa Panginoon ay, Panginoon, iligtas po ninyo kami sa pagiging manhid na hindi na kami nagugulat, hindi na kami nagugulantang, hindi na kami datitigatig. Disturb us, Lord, because the trouble and disturbance that comes from you can only make us better. Na hindi tayo kailangan palaging kumilos sapagkat sa pamamagitan ng katahimikan, silenced by what we see, good or bad, discouraging or encouraging. Let silence speak to silence and let the silence of God be our language because only those who speak the silence of God will be able to understand Him. And stay. Peter, James, and John wanted to stay. And let us stay. Hindi kailangang tumakas. Hindi kailangang tumakbo. Hindi kailangang magtakip ng mata at magbulag-bulagan. Let us stay with the glorious. Let us stay also with the sorrowful. Let us stay with the suffering. Let us stay with the victorious and successful. The important thing, brothers and sisters, is May we be ready to be stunned. May we be open to silence. And may we be ready to stay in glory or in sorrow, provided we recognize the face of God. Sa linggong ito, humingi tayo ng awa sa Diyos para sa tatlong biyaya. Panginoon, Binubuksan po namin ang aming puso. Gisingin po ninyo kami. Gulatin po ninyo kami. Magulantang sana kami. Lord, we are giving you permission. Stun us. Please, dear Lord, may we learn the value of silence because we cannot always be noisy people wanting to be noticed. And please, Lord, Give us the courage to stay when we are tempted to escape. Give us the courage to stay on and staying on with you. Amen.